G'day, g'day, g'day. This is Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my locals community with your daily dose of business inspiration. Come on over and join me at askcharlieletham.locals.com. You can join the community for free. You can become a supporter, get access to supporter-only content, add, conf- add to the conversations, start your own conversations, And your contribution also helps me to keep creating content like this, like my tutorials and like my podcasts. But let's get on with today's topic, topic number 159, the power of networking. Now, I I know I speak about some of these things and I come back to them and I I attack them at different angles or I I might speak of them as part of something else and then come back and go, go a little bit more in depth with them. If there's anything that I've spoken about you want me to dig down a little more deeper into please let me know I'm here for you as much as I enjoy doing this sort of stuff I really want it to be valuable to you my listeners but let's have a chat about networking and why it's so beneficial why it's so good for you so the benefits of networking in business well it creates opportunities doesn't it by networking and getting out and speaking to people and talking to them about what you do and about what they do it helps you to connect with others in your industry it helps with you to come uncover hidden opportunities that might not be available through your traditional channels it might even throw up something that you go I have never ever ever considered that let me see what I can do to help or let me see if this is something I want to actually dig into a little bit more Sharing knowledges and resources, sharing knowledges, my goodness, sharing knowledge and resources. Networking allows you to exchange that information. It allows you to exchange insights and resources with your with, with peers in the industry, with other experts in the industry. It can lead to you creating some innovative solutions. It might lead to you helping them with a solution, which then they'll remember and come back to you later on. It also helps you in your business making process by getting all of this extra information, your business decision, business making, your business decisions become easier. Well, not easier. They become more thoughtful. And of course, it helps you stay updated with industry trends. The other thing it does is it builds a support system. And that's one reason why I've created my locals community is because it's that support system. It's not just about getting information and joining in conversations. It's about being able to connect with other like-minded people in your industry who, or not in your industry, but in business who understand the challenges of what you're going through and might be able to help you. So yeah, you you get a support system built in once you start networking. So what are some of the strategies for for building um, networking relationships? Industry events, of course. Now, for those of us that work on our own or remotely, that might be a little bit more difficult, but there are online webinars. There are lives on Facebook and Instagram. I know on uh, LinkedIn, you can do things as well. There are a heap of things that you can do online that don't take a lot of time but get you to connect with people leveraging social media of course uh utilizing platforms like twitter and linkedin uh even facebook and instagram you you start to connect with people you join groups there you you join pages there and you start to connect with people who are doing similar things to you or maybe they're doing something a little bit different but you've got a lot of synergy there and I'm trying not to use jargon so much, but gee, it's hard sometimes. Uh, and make sure you're following up and maintaining those connections. So once you've been out to an event or you've done it, yeah, you've been part of a live or you've been talking to someone on on the groups, maybe, yeah, you know, I I'm not sure I'd recommend dropping them a DM straight away, but yeah, you know, drop them something and say, hey, how you doing? How's everyone doing today? And just keep that dialogue, keep that conversation going. Really, really important. You can expand your network and start creating opportunities too by joining professional organizations. Now, that might be a little bit more difficult because we work remotely and we don't really necessarily have a professional organization around what we do, but there might be something similar. There might be something in your local area. You know, Toastmasters might be a good one as well. Uh, Toastmasters or your local Lions Club or your Rotary or something similar because then you start to connect with other people in your in your local community as well. 
Whenever you're networking, though, make sure you're offering value first. It's not about going out and networking and saying, well, you're a prospect and you're a prospect and you're a prospect and you're a prospect. Show people how you can add to their business. So if someone comes up and says, look, I'm having an issue or um, oh, I don't know about this, you say, hey, listen, you know, I had a similar problem and this is how I fixed it. Maybe that will work for you or I don't know. I know someone who might be able to help you. Why don't I set you up and or why don't I connect you with so-and-so and see if you guys can work out whether that's help, helpful for you or not. That was something that I did really well as a young salesperson. Uh, it wasn't just about, oh, well, we're, we don't we don't provide that service or we don't provide that product. It was, no, look, that's not actually in our bailiwick. That's not what we do. But I do know someone that can help you. Let me go and talk to so-and-so and tell them Charlie sent you. Uh, and that paid back in spades later on. It was amazing. The, they would come back to me and say, you did such a good job as last time. <laughs> we want to see if we can help, if you can help us out again, because we really want you to get some business because you're really good at what you do. So that was the first thing that I learned about it. And the other one was the other organizations who were our competition started to learn that I wasn't such a bad, bad, bad chick, I guess. And we'd come back and offer me help and assistance when 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 it when it came around and always be open to new connections now I know I said this in one of my other podcasts recently always be open to opportunities be open to connections you never know where you're going to be when you meet someone that is going to be a valuable connection for you within your industry or within within your business you might be out doing the kids pick up one day and meet up with a mum or a dad or an auntie or an uncle or someone who actually is looking for what you're offering or has something that you are looking for so be open to those new connections networking is it can be time consuming. It can be very stressful for some of us getting out and networking and putting ourselves out there and just peopling in general can be really tough, but it can be also really beneficial to your organization. What do you guys think though? What have you found that works for you? What has worked? What hasn't worked? Uh, do you have organizations? Do you have groups that you'd recommend people come and join? Um, I'm going to, again, plug my locals community. Come on over to locals and join us there. Ask charlieletham.locals.com. Please give me some commentary. Uh, join the conversation. Tell me what works, what doesn't work, whether you think I'm talking rubbish, whatever. It's all good because it helps us develop our own knowledge, not just me, but you guys as well and my team as well. It helps develop that knowledge and, uh, and we grow through that. So as always, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so you find out when I drop more content. And tomorrow I will see you and we're going to be talking about the art of delegation. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.